Politics, policy, and procedure all on the agenda as Congresswoman Joyce Beatty invites a group of women leaders from Central Ohio to Capitol Hill. We sit down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with controversial former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. And we've got the new poll numbers on the governor's race in Ohio and the zoo levy today on The Spectrum. Welcome to a special edition of The Spectrum, coming to you today from Capitol Hill. I'm Colleen Marshall. When women succeed, America succeeds. That's the catchphrase these days of Central Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. In fact, she convinced President Obama to use that phrase in the most recent State of the Union address. And it's the reason she hosted what she called a one-day women's fly-in. She invited women business leaders, leaders of education, insurance industry, health, and the media. She called all of us here for one day to talk about the issues that are important to Central Ohio and important to women. And I got the opportunity to sit down and talk to the one and only woman ever to serve as Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is no longer Speaker of the House, but she is still a powerhouse and still pushing for issues important to other women, child care, education, sick pay, and equal pay. So this was really important. Pay. Value the work of women. Pay equally and also pay better. But issues like equal pay, expanded health care, and her opposition to an expansion of force during the Iraq war often have this San Francisco area Democrat at odds with conservative pundits. I, uh, I really just wanted to thank you for having me over here to wine country, you know, to be uh, invited. I thought I had to be a major Democratic donor, a longtime friend of yours, which I'm not. Uh, by the way, I put poison in your... No, I... Her supporters say strong women like Pelosi and Hillary Clinton are out front on controversial issues, and that makes them easy targets. I asked her about that. I feel sorry for them if that's the way they want to characterize women. But what's really important, and I think uh, 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 Joyce Beatty is a, a leading example of this, what we want to do here is to showcase our women, brand new, first term member of Congress, fully uh, aware of the challenges women face, fully capable of coming up with the solutions, understanding to work together, hopefully in a bipartisan way. We don't spend too much time worrying about people who are so insecure in their own right that they have to take down women. She points out that women first demanded equal pay in 1945, when Congress considered and overwhelmingly rejected a plan to require equal pay for the women who went into the workforce while men were off fighting World War II. Decades later, women are still making 77 cents for every dollar earned by a man in the same job. Women know, women understand uh, that public policy has to change in terms of what we talked about, about respecting women in the workplace in terms of their pay, in terms of their sick leave, in terms of child care. Pelosi is joining forces with Central Ohio's Joyce Beatty. They will kick off a cross-country call to action in Columbus. We're going to talk about women in the workplace, women at home. We're going to talk about child care and education. And we would like to bring a thousand women to the state capitol steps to stand up for women. So it's the beginning of a movement. It's just like if you look back in the 50s and 60s when Rosa Parks made a statement and others followed. Pelosi is the highest ranking female politician in American history. She served as speaker from 2007 till 2011. She is still helping to shape policy and just met with the new prime minister of Ukraine. He asked the United States for two things, diplomatic support and economic support, which we have given. We hope, because there, there's just no option for us to be engaged in a military conflict, that Putin, the, the, the uh, sanctions that the president has put forth uh, will uh, have an effect and they will see the light. But we're not trying to pull the Ukraine one way or away from Russia. We're just saying you make your own decisions. Pelosi was the keynote lunch speaker for the group of Ohio women leaders, a favor to Congresswoman Beatty, who, as a freshman, is making friends in high places. 
The Central Ohio women leaders also got the chance to go to the White House for a backstage tour, you might say, of the West Wing. And they got to sit down with other members of Congress in a bipartisan meet and greet. And no topic was off the table. Because I'm on the Foreign Affairs Committee, and I tell people, you know, if you're on the Education Committee, go see the schools. If you're on the Foreign Affairs Committee, see the world. Florida Congresswoman Love is just back from seeing a troubled part of the world, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Ukraine. It was about 20 years ago, and I don't know if you knew this, that Ukraine had one of the largest nuclear arsenals in the world. Did you know that? Frankel was one of about a half dozen members of Congress who met with the Ohio Women's Group, some on schedule, some by accident, including House Minority Whip Steny Hoyer, who we ran into in the halls of the Capitol building. Like a true politician, he took time to shake every hand and tell a story about when he was a first-year law student with a low-level summer job working in the Senate and working at a desk behind a young receptionist. Fast forward to 2007, the young lady sitting at the desk, the receptionist, was the Speaker of the House. Wow. And the first-year law student sitting behind her was the majority of the House. How is that for a story? West Virginia's Shelley Moore Capito talked about the transportation challenges maintaining and building roads in her mountain state and being a member of the minority in the majority party. When I first I was elected, I think there were 57 women, there are now 80, I think is our last number. Uh, I'm a Republican woman and there's only 17 Republican women. That's terrible for our party, my party. Uh, because, uh, but I did joke the other day, this was in a room full of Republican men and women, I said, we well, always know who you're going to run to, into in the ladies' room, because it's pretty much going to be somebody from the other side. But despite the gridlock that seems to have settled on Capitol Hill, every Congress member we spoke to from both sides of the aisle talked about bipartisan cooperation and the need to be responsive to America's voters. Now, people that send us here, Send us here because they have a confidence and a belief that we will do what is right. Now, you hear all of these voices, um, but what we don't hear is probably the 85% of the people we need to hear. And that's you. In just two days, welcome back to this special edition of The Spectrum. I was one of 13 Central Ohio women invited this week to a leadership conference on Capitol Hill. Speaker of the House John Boehner himself had to sign off on this breakfast meeting inside a House caucus room that's usually reserved for members of Congress. But the Republican speaker was happy to help an Ohio Democrat launch her bipartisan day-long fly-in. This was a bipartisan day. One of the commitments I made on my journey is if you're going to make a difference, you have to learn how to work together. So to be able to have women who are Republicans and Democrats come in, I think it also speaks to Ohio and, and how they look at us because that's important to me to be a bridge builder, to be able to come here and get something done. At breakfast, attendees got a lesson in policies, procedures, and protocols, and heard about the first female member of Congress, Jeanette Rankin, who was elected in 1916 before women's suffrage, making her the only woman to vote, to give women the right to vote. It re-energized my faith in our government and that women really do have the power to really make this government work. And, you know, having Joyce Beatty in a leadership role as a freshman and seeing the level of respect and the work and the passion that she's involved in just regained my faith in, in our government. The women who were invited here by Congresswoman Beatty got a taste of the hill behind the scenes, riding on one of the underground trams that carry House members from their offices to the hall of Congress. Represent banking, medicine, education, transportation, nonprofits, and of course, the media. You know, we have a, uh, both the priv privilege and responsibility to make the world a better place. And today, right in front of us, person by person, there's women doing that here. I think it sends a message to us, for our daughters, for our colleagues, for our co-workers, for our neighbors. You know, th this is the right place to be. The group was challenged to stay engaged in government, to share ideas, to demand from Congress bipartisan cooperation. Congresswoman Beatty likes to
to say you can disagree without being disagreeable. This is a good way to end my career as CEA president, and it gives me the energy to go into my new job and making sure that our children are taken care of. We discussed a lot of women's issues here today, um, and women's issues are everyone's issues, whether it's health care, early childhood education, uh, employment. Uh, we got a chance to hear from a lot of people today, and it's just been so impressive, and what a great day it's been, and I hope that this is the first of many, and I hope other people get a chance to experience what I did today. I think today was a great call to action. I feel really inspired um, by getting to see the people and touch the people that run our country and understand that their heart's in it and they're here to make a difference. And it, it gives us inspiration and in looking for more ways that we can uh, contribute as well. It has absolutely been an incredible day. I don't think I could have planned anything any differently. Having uh, high-powered women, women in leadership from Central Ohio here, and for them to leave here saying, wow, great job, we're energized, we're going to go back home, we'll continue to put women in the room. I'm very pleased. We also